Welcome to Scott Space. I'm going to play the Akuro race. It's part of the new DLC for Distant Worlds 2. I've never played them. Even though I'm a beta tester, I've never gotten around to playing this race. I've no, I have no idea what their benefits are. And I think I know that they're forest dwellers. They kind of look like um, apes or monkeys, I think. So that's all I know about them. So it's going to be really exciting for me to try it out. I don't know what their ships look like. I don't know what their racial benefits are. No idea. So let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to play a pretty small galaxy. I don't, I mean, I, I liked it. I wish there was an eight by eight with 700 stars. I just don't like a lot of systems to deal with. I'm going to be playing on extreme difficulty here. I do like chaos for restlessness too. Now, the main thing about the difficulty, I mean, of course, extreme gives an advantage to the AI, but this really helps them the most, right? This galaxy expansion. So they're going to have two to four systems already, colonies. I'm going to have none. And they'll be at tech level one where I'll be at pre-warp. And then by putting research very slow, that even makes it worse because it's going to take me a long time to catch up to them. I'm turning tech trading off. I usually leave research uh, only the next project visible, but because I want to be talking to you about things and I want to discover um, what their techs look like. And anytime I do a, um, a video, I usually leave this as visible. And of course, fixed research paths is the best. Everything else here, I think I'm going to keep the same. Yep, the, I play these very rare because I just do not like the base design of the game where there's so many systems. And although the game is really good at automating things, I don't like to play with automation too much. I do for like uh, taxes and resource management, but for most of the end spies, but for most things I don't. And so I just like to keep it really, really small. I like every system to be as special as possible. Okay, and there they are, the Akuro. I've never played them before. I mean, in fact, this, I'm reading this for the first time. They like, I know they like forest and swamp. Oh, not too bad. Not, not much difference in desert and continental. That's, this is pretty good. They don't, looks like they can go in a lot of different uh, planet types. So that's great. Okay. Bonuses, troop recovery rate, damage control. Right. So I did hear this too. They have repair bots, which are supposed to be really good. Okay. Minus 10 of bombardment or destroy a world. Okay. Or choose extermination. I don't use extermination, but I usually try to destroy worlds late game. Wow. Okay. Secrets of life for one year when you colonize a new world. That's great. Also enables new research projects to further improve suitability for the world type. Oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, so I, when I have a smaller empire, that's that seems like it's going to be nice. Plus five happiness for one year when they sign a non-aggression treaty. Okay. And minus 10 for when the war breaks out between another faction. Okay. So for my warlike play style... This isn't going to be easy for me. Okay, fun. No problem. Starting researches, right? This organic hull, or not starting, but they, they can research this organic hull. I did read something about that or heard something about that. And I guess these biome shaping facilities, I guess they replace the terraforming facilities here. They're probably better versions of them. And look at this, no bombardment weapons. Interesting. Okay. Since the uh, game came out, they've they've made it so that the AI does not have a ridiculous amount of ground troops. So bombardment has become less important. Although when they get that certain ground troops that can certain technology that allow you to shoot down your troops as they land, that can be a pain in the neck. Sometimes I like to bombard then, but probably not in this playthrough. And my victory conditions lose the fewest ships. Okay, I like to do that. Control one. Control the one largest forest colony in the galaxy. Well, you have to find it first, right? Have the most spaceports. Okay, free trade agreements. Yeah, so these guys look like they're about peace, love, and and everything but war. Okay, good. I mean, good to know. All right, let's get into it. So I'm going to call them Indus, which is a uh, Bronze Age civilization that was did not have a lot of weapons. They did not. They had a lot of a lot of a lot of peace in the Pakistan area. I think along the Indus River, so that's what I named them. And uh, we're going to use this empire flag. Now let's pick one that looks something like love and war, love and peace. There you go. Okay. And yeah, as I suspected, troop recruitment rate is low. Mining rate's low. Wow. All research minus 10%. Ugh. Okay. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Let's see what happens. And of course, for mine, for starting new your starting situation, right? I want to be on, I mean, I want to be on normal. Sorry. I want to be on starting and I want to be on pre-warp. Yeah. So in other words, this is the basic beginning that you would start with 
from scratch, basically starting from scratch. And I like the far regions. I don't know. I like to work my way in. Just a personal preference here. Okay. And yep, we'll play with nine other empires. Yeah, it's a little bit crowded. A little bit crowded. That could be a problem for me. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. I have no idea really what to expect with the storyline. Uh, every race, as you may or may not know, has a storyline with different events. And I've never played this one, so I'm curious to see what happens. Okay. Nope. Oh, wow, here we are in the corner. Okay, good. So what normally happens is yeah, a little bit about them. Okay, sure. Investigate this ob obelisk. All right. And I got a little bonus here. Colony happiness. Good. I'm going to need that. And colony development. Good. Okay. So usually the closest, wow, there's th three, four close, three closest bodies included. Yeah. So wow. Because one of these will usually have, right, a research. You can uh, put a research base on it. That's really, really important to do early. So, but um, with three of them, I have no idea which one it's going to be. Uh, another thing is I don't have the asteroid belt around the planet, so I don't have to worry about the surveyor ship here that's getting built to spend all its time there, and it'll go off and find, hopefully, quickly, which one is the research, because I want to get research going. That's my biggest problem early on, uh, and you'll see me talking about that a lot. So anyway, first thing I'm going to do is build a spaceport, which will give me research. I'm going to... So if you're new to the game at all, you can just say build right here. You can just say build a small spaceport, but... I want it to be as close as possible, particularly early game, although I will not be in pre-warp too long, I hope, to these places, right? So in when they're warping, it doesn't make any difference, but in the very beginning of the game, they're going really slow, uh, sublight speeds here, I guess you'd call it. And so you don't want to be far away from this. So what you can do is select the colony, right-click as far as you can here and write uh, and select build a spaceport. By the way, there you can't build a research here. Yeah, okay, so it's disabled. I don't know why it's even in the menu, but uh, so build a small spaceport. There we go. That's the first thing I do. I usually direct this guy manually, but he's probably going to go right for one of these. We'll see what happens. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that. And then the third thing I want to do, if I don't have to direct this surveyor to go to the nearest body here and avoid any asteroids, is I go to research. And since I've played the game a long time now, when I play at this difficult level where the AI is already way ahead of me, I definitely want to force warp. So I'm going to go right to hyperspace here. I'm going to say warp, and I'm going to do the first two warps. That's the first thing I do so I can immediately get my scouts out, see what's around me. I really, really, really want to grab the first independent colony I find, if possible, because that's really in a short, relatively short to medium term, that's going to double or maybe even more my income and therefore support increased research, right? So because I'm playing with very scarce colonies that are, you know, suitable enough for colonization, I really need to grab the first indie and I need to do that before the AI does. And so I want to get to stable warp as fast as possible. I'll worry about my other techs later. Let me just get to those two and then I'll deal with the other techs later. And that's about it. Now, one of the great things in some recent version, I'm not sure which one, but very recently this became, they got up to eight speed, which is absolutely incredible. Now, of course, if you're first playing the game, you know, and go slow and enjoy it and watch the ships doing what they're doing and watch, you know, when, the, when your spaceport's done, they'll start building uh, freighters and see what they do and watch where they go and watch how they pick up and drop the resources, the miners will come out and manually mine things. And it's just pretty cool. It's really cool. Go to the third, you know, you can go to third view. Like if I go here, turn on high camera angle or something from, or that, no, not that one. Um, trailing camera. So you're behind the ship. You can watch what it's doing, which is really cool. I'll let that run for a few seconds here. Now I'm at eight times speed. So this thing's going to take off. Good. So it's going for this gas giant. I'm hoping that's where the research is. There it goes. Uh, and again, it's going at a sublight speed, right? So it's taking a long time to get here. That's why I wanted my spaceport as close as possible to this gas giant. Okay, that's at my home, I think. Yep. Okay. Now, if I go back to my normal view here. Oh, no, default. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So he's halfway there. You can see we're getting closer to that gas giant. My spaceport is getting done. Here it is. It's 18%, 23%. Okay. And then, yeah, so it builds a construction ship. So basically, you start with... 
a construction ship and this surveyor. And as soon as the surveyor finds out on this planet here, right? So right down here, it's, if hopefully it's going to say uh, re build a research station. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So I love this eight times speed. This this whole first 20 minutes of playing was, you know, at, at the point that where I'm done with the excitement of seeing everything that's new, it was just too boring to wait, right? Okay, did they find something here? No. Oh, the spaceport's completed. I've got a scientist now. Okay, I'm going to pause the game really quick. So they found Caslon, right? The, this is your fuel, so that's really important. So I do want to build a mining base here, but I, yeah, see, I got lucky. So because there were th there were three bodies that were close by, it could have been any of them, but probably the closest one, and it was, and it's the first one that the surveyor went to has this research bonus, right? So I can build a research station here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. As soon as I click this, wherever he is, my um, instructor ship, which is right here. You know, now I, another little quick trick here. I didn't do this usually. I do is you, I could have manually moved him to go here and he would have been a lot closer to getting here already, but I let him just sit there where he was built. So I should have had him already moving towards this. It would have saved me a lot of time. And then I could have switched him back to fully automate. So that's a nice little tip early on. I didn't do it, but he's going to be moving now. Uh, and we'll let it go. Now, once he's committed to this, so if I go here, see, if I go here actually, and I look at my construction ships, once he's, oh no, he's on my move command. No, he's, yeah, he's building a research station, right? So yeah, he just got the resources. Okay, so he just picked up all these resources from the space station or the planet. I think the space station. This is what he needs to build that research base. And now he's going to build that research base. So now that he's doing that, it's very safe to go in here and go, okay, um, build this, right? Because I don't want him to build that first. But once he's set to build the research station, unless I get warp drive before he gets there, that's sometimes a problem, by the way. Um, he'll be uh, he'll be building this. So second is what's the main thing. I really want the research first. That's the key thing. Oh, and this got rushed. I guess it got rushed. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I must have missed an event. Yeah, see, this got rushed. But if it doesn't, I rush it anyway myself, usually. So I didn't get a chance to do that. I will rush the next one, too, because you've got enough money. I think it's like three grand or, you know, you're okay with money for the, at this point. It's good to rush warp drive right away. You just want to hope this doesn't hit 100% because sometimes they'll turn around to refit and lose this opportunity when they're this close to build the research station. Okay, and then this is, yeah, steel Mebnar. We need all this stuff. You can see this red uh, around here saying it's urgent that we need it. Okay, I guess it's here. Yeah, it's right here. So that's going to be our second mining base or our third base altogether. Now, he's coming back to refuel, which is actually kind of good because by the time he gets back, our warp drive will be done and then he'll retrofit automatically, and then he has to go this slow getting back and forth, which is great. Okay, and there's the research base being built. That's really important. If I go to my research here now, you can see I have 10 here, and I will soon have this one. This is the one being built here. I have 10 from my spaceport here, and I'll soon have it also from this. So my, out, my research output right now is 19, but it's going to make a huge jump as soon as I get this. And that's going to make this go really fast or much faster. Let's put it that way. There it is. Okay. So now I've got 10, uh, 22 from here, the, the original 10 and 22. So now I'm at the 41. So this is going to cut back on these tier ones very quickly. Wow. Okay. That's a harmonious benefit. That must be part of my government, I guess. Research built. We've got warp drive. Okay. Great. Okay, good. So now as soon as I get that, these guys are going to come back to refit, which is fine. And But before they get there, I want to build at least one more Pathfinder. There we go. The only thing in the beginning is you don't want to just spam the Pathfinders and the construction ships because you actually haven't started grabbing any resources like steel or anything else. You haven't built any freighters yet. See, they're probably be building them now. Yeah. So you could... And there goes our first hyper jump. Okay. You could run out very quickly of these basic resources that you need to build. And then potentially they wouldn't be able to build any freighters. Then you wouldn't get any resource here. You see, you could put yourself in a bind pretty quickly. So 
I only build one exploration ship. So now I've got two. If I go over here to exploration, you'll see I have two of them and they're they're going across the system. Why are they doing the same place? Let's take a look at what they're doing. Okay. I don't know. That's interesting. They're both researching exploring the same place. All right, weird. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I want these resources too. Uh, polymers are made from making ships. That's important. So are emeralds, crystals, and I guess carbonite too, right? Yeah. Anyway, I want to build that as soon as possible. So you can you can actually click on the colonies and, and hit the mining stations, or you can go to this screen where I spend most of my time just clicking everything here, unless it's an asteroid belt, which is a great new feature they added not too long ago, which is show me all the resources, but no asteroids. So you don't get bothered by the asteroids. Uh, but early game, I'm going to leave this on. I do want to see if there's anything interesting there. Okay, this is all good stuff too. These are going to help with colony development, which generates money, happiness. But these two are, yeah, Hextorium. Yeah, these are for building ships. So again, I want to make sure I select that one. Uh, now I've only got one, right? Do I have one? Let me see. Yeah, I only have one construction ship. So I'm going to build a second one because I'm going to very quickly have more stuff than that one can handle it or, or it'll take them too long to finish them all. So I'm going to build one more construction ship and actually at this point, one more pathfinder. It shouldn't overload my resources too badly. So now I'll have three pathfinders going through the system and finding other stuff to mine. All right. Now I said, I always rush this. I usually do. I wait a little longer, maybe 20% because each little percentage is going to, cut down the total cost, but I'm going to see how much it's going to cost. Yeah. 18,000. I, I can handle that. So I'm going to rush that because I really, really, really want to get this technology going. I still have 27, 28,000. Of course, once I start meeting pirates, I'm going to try to uh, sign non-aggressions with them, which by the way, I don't, oh no, it's an, I don't know. I, I doubt non-aggression treaties with pirates help with my happiness, but maybe they do. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, got the three exploration ships. They're moving out pretty quickly. And I've got two construction ships here. Good. He has no mission yet because he's still being built. Yeah, see, so he's still, once he hits over 100% here. Oh, actually, there's no shields and armor, so this guy should be ready to go. Why is he not doing anything? Every once in a while, I want to check here to make sure that there are no research locations there rarely are any additional ones although sometimes there's a base there's a like a pirate base or a a base that's automated and and or you can rebuild it or something so sometimes there's another resource uh research source in your system sometimes you get lucky that way all right but so far nothing like that only three mining locations. That's interesting. What are these guys doing here? Here they go. Okay. Oh, okay. So we found a debris field. It's probably guarded. Let's see. Uh, no, it's not. Okay. So there's a cruiser. Great. So one of my construction ships is going to probably work on this cruiser and then not be able to do anything for a long, long time. So as soon as that happens, let's see if he's coming here. Yeah. I don't recognize the ship shape, so it's taking me a little longer to figure out what's what. So yeah, he's going to work on this cruiser, which is great for defense once I get it, but it's going to take a long time, right? So if I click on him, he's at 27%. You watch, if I hover here for a while, nothing's going to change. So that's going to take a long time. So I basically have this construction ship that is not doing anything other than building the ship. So I'm going to definitely build another one. So I'm going to jump back to my spaceport here. And I'm going to tell it to build another construction ship because I've got one dedicated to fixing that cruiser. But once I get that cruiser, it'll be great early game. All right. And my stable warp field's coming along nicely. That's good. Wow, I've got a bunch more targets. Yeah, I'll take more Caslon. I'll take this Pearl, which is going to help my colony. Great. I'll take that. Oh, Silicon, always important. And there's usually only one source, or often there's only one source I've found so... I definitely want to grab that early. In fact, I maybe even should have prioritized it, but we'll see. We'll be okay. All right. And more Mebnar. Okay, great. So 
No reason not to click any of these unless they're in a asteroid belt and they're really close together. There's a whole strategy to that because the range of the base will hit multiple asteroids and it'll get bigger as your technology gets further along. So anyway, I'm not going to get into that though. But if there were, I might be micromanaging that a little bit and not just clicking each one and every one of these. Again, as you'll see me do a thousand times, I'm going to check my resource locations. There are none. All right, we're going to be leaving the system very shortly. As soon as this gets to 100%. The newest version, by the way, I'm playing with, I'm not sure the number off the top of my head, but this newest version has a bunch of improvements to performance. And although I'm not playing on a big galaxy, I can see on my scroll here, and also when I go to the technology screen, for example, it's very quick. So this is really, really good. I'm really excited to see this uh, coming along. So here I am. I do all, I usually take a look here too to see what's around. I'm very isolated here. In fact, there's not a lot of stars around me could be a potential problem like there might not be any there might not be any indies nearby and that could be a problem because that's a big part of my strategy is to get that first independent nation to join us right through diplomacy All right taking another year and a half looks like well, that was interesting. It looked like it went backwards for a second. Okay. There are, yeah, so these two guys are, yeah, they're almost done. That's great. He's already on the silicon. There's only two more left. Wow. Okay. So a little overkill here. I might have gotten away with one of these, but early on, I mean, you're going to use them very quickly. As soon as I spread out of the system, I'm going to need them. And there's always one retrofitting or doing something else, and or in this case, you know, building a cruiser. So it's not bad to have three. It's not terrible. And in interestingly enough, I haven't met a single pirate yet, unless I was talking through it and I missed it. I don't think so. And I I would guess every race has a pre warp or very soon in their in their home system some special event. I haven't seen it, or again, I may have missed it. And you guys are laughing at me because I was talking too much. But I don't think I see anything special here. Yeah, so I don't know what their special is. Or maybe I already had it when uh, that Harmony thing came into play. I don't know. All right, so you can see they all have... Wow, why is that hard to see? That's interesting. never saw that before yeah they all have uh, mining stations and of course very important this one has a research and a mining station it puts it's weird i could have manually placed this too this is so weird well that's a bug or what wow anyway yeah so i some you can manually right same thing we did before with the colony here you can man okay i've got stable warp field good so i'm going to pause the game really quick so you can manually place these things, right? I didn't really care so much about this research center, but this one, again, only during pre-warp because now they're warping to it, but it would have been nice to have it on this side. And they also kind of give overlapping protection, which is good sometimes. So on this first planet or, yeah, when you build these two stations, it's actually kind of good. See, although this is kind of far, sometimes they're closer and it's nice when these two are close and the space station's close or the spaceport's close and your fleet that's stationed here for defense can run here very quickly, even though they're going to warp there probably. So you can manually tell the constructor to build, not too close, but it will, pretty close, it will build the mining station next to the research station, and they'll have a little overlap of defenses. And uh... All right, what am I going to research next? Well, usually I want to go for colonies, right? There's a few things I want early. Uh, I do like getting shields early because... When all my freighters and things start getting creatures, I, I will do that pretty early. In fact, I'll just select it now. We can always move it up later, right? Uh, and then I usually go for colonization, but I think they said I start with colonization, right? Did I read that? Yeah, basic colonization, that's great. But I still need to make ships that can colonize, right? So I still need expanded civilian ships here for the small colony ship. So I'm definitely going to take that very early. 
But it's probably going to be a little bit of time before I get to find that independent. So I'll do deflectors first and then civilian ships, okay? But after that, I'll be ready and I can very quickly, because I also have to pay them off, right? I have to get them to like me enough. So yeah, this, this order is fine, but I want to very, very quickly build a colony ship and get that established early. And then it will grow quicker when it's under my control. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. I mean, I could go a little further here. The next thing I really want to do is make sure that my, these two get, these two get researched because that's going to give my exploration ships a, a big advantage, right? They're going to be able to scan more things and maybe find more research locations that they wouldn't have found. So these two early, super, super important too. So that's probably a good first four for me to start here. Okay, let's let that run. Now I'm hoping, right, that these guys are all going to retrofit. They are, good. And then I'm hoping, they don't always do it, but I'm hoping they're going to go back very soon. And when they go back after they retrofit, that they're going to leave the system. If not, I kind of manually force them to do it if they don't. And there's nothing being done here right now. So they're on their way. So I'm going to build another one really quick. That one's going to be our first one to warp out of here, to warp out of the system. I have enough construction ships for now. They're going to come back, I'm sure, also. Let's see. And retrofit. Yeah, one of them's going to retrofit. This one will as soon as it's done. This guy will probably stay here until he's done. Usually see them stop working on the cruiser. But uh, I could be wrong. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, I've got to unpause the game. All right. So here comes the first exploration ship. All right, here come the other guys. They're arriving. They're getting themselves uh, fixed up. Those will get in the end of the queue. But this guy will be the first guy that goes. I want to see very. By the way, just in case you know, you can double click on him in the construction queue and see him. I want to make sure he leaves this system. I really want to find out what's around me. Yes, good. He's going to an unknown star, right? There he goes. He's super warping here. So if we zoom way out, uh, as long as I have construction ships selected, yeah, I have this selected here. Exploration. Yeah, there's his target. So good. He's going out there. Now, again, I, a bunch of things just happened. So I may have missed some stuff. Yep, I missed the pirates. <clears throat> and if I didn't, if I missed this except tree, let's see if it worked. Because if we start shooting at each other, sometimes they don't like us enough. Okay, I did get the what that protection. And these guys too. So I got two of them. Yeah, see, they already started firing on us, but I got I hope it's not too late. All right. So let me go back to my message log and see what happens. Accept treaty. No, that's the one I already did a treaty with, right? Yeah, we've signed your treaty. But where's the other one? Okay. Oh, here it is. No, it's the same one. I guess they offered it to me twice. Okay, good. Huh. Well, I didn't miss it then. All right. So let me see if I can talk to these guys directly. Good. Okay. So in theory, when I unpause this game right now, they both have protection... Let's see what happens. Stop shooting at me. Okay, thank you. Nope, see, I was too late on this. <laughs> when that happens, you're in a lot of trouble. So because we just had a quick combat that didn't end fast enough, they're now furious with me because we fired on them and they fired on us. And now I cannot get this protection treaty, which is a real downer. So now they're going to just bug me for the, the short time. And now I'm forced to go back to my home here and do something that is not great for maintenance, which I'm going to build some troops. So when I get raided, they don't get away with all my money and things. So I'm going to have to build like four ground troops, which is just in the beginning of maintenance. <sighs> something I didn't want to have to deal with. Although now I'm not paying them off, right? So maybe it's close to a wash. All right. And they're going to raid my stuff. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. They're going to raid me and take stuff. So they're going to raid my base. They're going to take 800. Okay. And this, I'm just going to have to deal with this for a while. I usually like to pay off all the pirates early and then not have to deal with anything else. But so <laughs> already not going the way I planned it. That's okay. I expect to have some trouble. Let's see what else what happens. Uh, oh, I'm going to check in the rest of my 
Yeah, good. They're checking a bunch of different systems. Excellent. So it looks like they left our system, right? Yeah, good. Excellent. So they are all out here doing stuff. I want to find new things. Excellent. I'm, again, I got to check these research bases. Okay, so if we look at research here, you know, my maximum potential is 47, and I'm actually getting out 47. That's good. That That's because I'm running a very good high cash flow here. Um, otherwise, it's a problem, right? I want this cash flow to be, whenever I can, be positive here so that I'm keeping the maximum research potential. And, of course, I'm always looking for new research locations. All right, back here. Um, oh, I guess I haven't. Yeah, beyond construction ship fuel range, because I guess I haven't updated these guys yet. I thought I did. Oh, that's not good. That means they're, oh, they're all, okay. So where did they find, oh, they're building somebody, one of my ships that got hurt, looks like. And I'm not sure why they're not in range of these things. So what what will happen is, if I build one myself, it will be, even though I think these guys retrofitted. Let's see what ver they're in version two, right? So let's see if I go to the construction yard here. I build another, it's three. Yeah, see, three must be the one with the warp. Okay, so for whatever reason, they didn't upgrade themselves. So this guy will start allowing me to select these faraway places because I'll finally have a construction ship that has a warp drive. So, in, rather than the skip drive. So, okay. I don't know. And I don't want to interrupt these guys and what they're doing here, but. Oh, no mission. Okay, good. So, retrofit. Oh, they did. And now they're threes. Okay. Oh, good. So, in theory now, I should be able to click these. I can't. It's some weird. <laughs> some weirdness. See, now I can. But that's only because I built that one ship, the new construction ship. All right, but maybe the others will kick in. And I don't know. Let's see if they're doing anything. Yep, they are. Good. Good. Oh, wow. We got lucky there. Oh, yeah. So look at this. I do get happiness. Okay. Even by signing non-aggression or treaties. No, it's not non-aggression. Let's see what it is. It's uh, Oh, yeah, it is non-aggression. Okay. That was quick. So very often the pirates, if you pay them a little money for some trading, it'll go up really quickly, but they must've liked me because they're my race. So, so, so are these guys. I don't know. I don't know why. Not sure why that went to a non-aggression really fast, but what's nice is I get extra happiness from getting non-aggression with the pirates. So as soon as this minus 78 wears off, let's see. Yeah, they're so mad at this. Cleared a war of mercy. I don't know what that is. Okay, well, whatever happened... We're not going to be friendly with them anytime soon. All right, I'm going to rush this. I would hate to have it not. And I have plenty of money. So a thousand bucks, yeah, it's nothing. So particularly when it's late like this, the project could get a major setback, right? And that would be a problem. Oh, they boarded my spaceport. Yeah. Anyway. So I hate to lose that, right? I hate to lose something that takes a little while too. Although I don't know that that was that long. But anyway. Okay, now every ship that I, every time a ship gets retrofitted, it's going to get shields, which will at least protect us for some of the creatures. Uh, yeah, I don't want to click on this just yet. Where do you have a bit? Oh, I do. Okay. They just found something new here, and now this base will start mining that. So if you have a base, a mining base at a col uh, at a planet, and it only had two things before they discover a third one, it's just going to start doing it, right? You don't have to do anything special here. Eventually, see, right? This guy doesn't have any shields. He's at one. Eventually, they'll do this on their own, but it doesn't happen immediately. It's very strange. So I could force it like this, right? And now we'll have shields, right? For that turn. And it will do it on its own. If you come back here in a little while, you'll see it. it's here. Not that it's going to save it much against these pirates. Pirates rarely destroy bases, right? They just want to raid your stuff. Yeah, see, my... The levels just dropped tremendously, right? They just raided me. But they'll rarely destroy it, see? Although they will damage it. 
I've seen it happen, but they're probably not going to destroy it. So having these shields isn't that critical. Alright, what a pain in the neck this is. Oh, there's a continental planet. That's interesting. Let's go look at this. Uh, yeah, its suitability is very, very low. But like we, I read about, we get these nice texts that help us terraform, I guess. So definitely going to be a colony of mine in the future at some point. All right, good. Everything's going along okay, other than these pesky pirates. And I don't want to build a fleet. I don't want to work on technologies to building fleets yet because it's going to be higher maintenance. I just don't want to deal with it. I can survive these pirates bugging me a little bit. All right, so you can see this is an asteroid field, right? So as I was mentioning earlier, uh, so I'm just going to go there and you can see, right? I like to put at least one here. Steel is really important. So I kind of look around and go, uh, there's a bunch around this one, so maybe I'll put one right there. And that should get all of these and all of these. And eventually it'll get wider too. So I'll build one mining station. I'm not going to follow their advice and build one here and here and here, which they want to do. Maybe a second one here would be good. Though early game, I got bigger fish to fry. So I don't really want my construction ships going too crazy on these. Yeah, so here. Build that. And that one is right here. I don't need that because I'm going to have this one. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn off uh, asteroids. I don't, I don't want to see them anymore. I did build one there. All right, great. Let's check on any new research locations. Nope. Oh, excellent. I got, oh, this, wow. Good. That's important because this was going to take four or five years and it, I got lucky. It got, uh, Rushed itself by one of the scientists or a random event. Okay, great. Now, I still don't have any sign of independent colony. I'm going to start to build more scout ships now. We probably have enough resources going back and forth. All right, that looks interesting. So I'm going to go back to my construction yard. Spaceport, I'm going to build at least two more exploration ships. So I really want to find the independent colony and make friends. All right, I got to be more careful. At eight times speed, you're going to be missing messages a lot. So maybe I don't recommend it for beginners, certainly. Yep, nothing yet. And let's see where my two more are coming out. This one must have been upgraded, okay. Yeah, he stole more money. Ugh, such a pain in the neck. But look at this, I'm, I'm making 7,000. That's pretty good. Okay, good. We got armor plating. Wow, that's good. I love that repairing ships. You get one or two, sometimes more, I think, maybe two technologies repairing them. And of course, if it's like a frigate or a escort, I'm not going to keep it and I'm going to send it to a shipyard to get broken down and then I'll get another tech from that too or a tech boost. And that's great. So very important when you're so far behind like I am in the setup that I chose to try to find these ships and once you get them send them to a spaceport to be retired and then you'll get an extra tech from them there's a lot of tech boost that way in fact sometimes i don't even see the messages flying by just checking for new research locations yeah and uh you'll see those be some boosts once in a while yeah like i got a little boost there Yeah, sometimes there'll be a lot more of them. But all right, let's let this go for now. Seven years, wow. Oh, there we go. I got more to pick from. And that's probably an asteroid. No, it's not. It's just, okay. It's a colony. Good.
All right. I'd like to have a third research location at this point. No thanks. Oh, large rock. Is that the other guy? That might be the one I want. No, that's the one I have in the nine brush, but I don't need to do that. I keep writing those two places. Okay. Keep checking for new. Yep. More Castlon here. We found it. Okay. Great. Those guys are not going to like us, I don't think. But I remember they're quite impressed with us. Okay. Uh, we're going to try it anyway. So let's take a look. I'm going to go over here to my independent colonies. Yeah, minus 16. We trust you because you're... No, that's not bad. Okay, minus 7 from your strange ways. We can overcome this. Okay, this will go away. So I'm going to speak to them. I've got enough money, plenty of money here. I'm going to send them the largest gift possible. And that's going to make us... I'm going to then check offer treaty, but there wasn't anything else I could do. So just the restricted trade. But sometimes when you do that, immediately you can pick one of these, which will raise it even higher. Okay, so I just put a little investment in there. That's going to give me a little boost here. And over time, this minus 15 will go away. I will be able to get these guys relatively quickly. Oh, did I find another independent? I did. Okay. All right, so let me, I just pause the game for a second because it's getting a little out of hand. Let me get these things all go in here for my mining and let me yeah no more new research stations that's not good okay and then i'm going to start getting resort bases too they do generate some money but i need to research that so i usually do that early too but i haven't this time okay so let me check out that other independent right so if i zoom out here a little bit one is there really close and one is here both quite doable and these guys probably like us better anyway so let's take a look at them Yeah, see, the, the AI is telling me do you have to invade these guys. But I think, oh, this got worse. Oh, and it's getting worse, trending downwards. Yeah, well, it might not work with these guys. Or it may take a long time. Let's see what happens. But these guys, definitely, I can get to like me. Yep, see, there's hardly any negatives here. So immediately, I'm going to send them a huge gift, offer them a treaty of limited trade. And look, they're almost ready to go. So that's the first one I'm going to do. In fact, by the time I build the colony ship, so let me go back to my shipyard. I'm going to build a colony ship. World founder. By the time that thing's done, I may, or soon after, I may be able to pay these guys off. And immediately take them over, which would be great. Not take them over, right? Uh, colonize them. So that's my big strategy is to try to get both of these. I'm definitely going to get this one sooner than not. And that's a fair distance from too, right? So that'll allow me to get to all this uh, quicker. Wow, that'll be great. If I get both of these, I'm very lucky. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get these guys. Uh, but they're both close enough. And this is in my territory too, which is good. So there's my colony ship here. Uh, let's pick up some people. I think they were going to do that anyway on its own. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, I'm mainly do it. I'm going to load the colonists. Now, I don't have to wait for that independent to be ready to go. I can send this guy right there, and he'll just sit over the planet waiting, right? And by the way, I don't want to... Okay, another trick here. I waited too long. I don't want to grab all these people because I just need a, I need a handful to colonize because the planet type might not be friendly to my race, right? And then my people there will generate slower growth, et cetera, et cetera. So I really don't want them. I don't want a lot of these. I would have stopped it right away and then just sent it almost empty, right? With just the, the minimum amount. It's going to be pretty far based on our, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ocean. Oh, we're not bad with ocean actually. So that wasn't such a bad, okay. So it's not a big deal. I think on ocean we're plus 10. So that's not so bad. Okay. So I'm going to tell it to move here. I don't want to tell it to colonize it because if it hits 
this before I pay them another, you know, gift. That could be a problem. So I just say move here. And then as soon as they get to 100%, I'll double check to see my colony ship is here. And then I'll just tell it to colonize at that point, all right? But I've got nothing else to do, so I may just watch it travel anyway. So if I go over to here to colonies, select colony ships, and just highlight it, I may just watch it head over there. But it's going to take me a while, right, before I can um, bribe these guys again. So let me show you, right? Too soon, so 1028 this year. Oh, it's right here. It's done. Okay, pause. Right. Uh, no. Oh, I'm wrong. 76, 76, 428 in 2776. Okay, so that's next year, April. All right, might be perfect timing, actually. Let's see. So I'm going to watch this change from November to April. My colony ship is on its way. Yeah, I think it'll work out perfect. And wow, that'll be the quickest independent colony I've grabbed in a long time. Excellent. We got a research breakthrough, so this will go quicker. That's really good. Okay, we're May, uh, March, almost to April. Perfect. Wow. Okay. And he's close enough that I could just tell him to colonize there, but uh, I'll wait a little bit longer. Okay. But if I get a free trade, I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, I'm going to get a free trade agreement. So I'm going to talk to these guys again. Yeah, see, they like us a lot already. I'm going to speak to them. I'm going to send them a gift, and then I'm going to be free trading with them. So let's do the gift. Now they really love me, and I'm going to do a free trade so they love me even more. Watch this 58 change when I click this to 100. There you go. And I can literally tell this guy, I'll just wait till he gets there a minute. I can tell him right now to colonize and we'll be all set. Okay, so that's a big, big step. Wow, that's great. I didn't even look at the planet though to see how good it is, but okay, now colonize. It's a right click, hold down in case that's new to anybody. You just right click and hold for an extra second. Ah, what? I thought I was at 100%. Okay, I messed up. I messed up totally. So I'll have to wait here a little longer. I probably normally I would reload only because I normally time this perfectly. And I just thought, I, I mean, I got carried away with the eight times speed. I think I just thought it was so close that I would have made it, that this wouldn't have dropped so quickly. So, so now my colony ship is still here. I'm just going to move it over here. And I just got to wait a little longer to the next time I can give them a gift. Um, yeah, that was just a little too soon. Right? This is going to wear off very quickly, this anger here. So it's not a big loss. Uh, but had I waited, right? Had I waited to give them that gift, and when they were at 100%, I could have saved myself $35,000, right? So not a good thing to do here. Okay, I've not been paying attention to my resources. So yes, go and mine those. I'll build mining stations there. No new research locations. This is really depressing, actually. I really need this to happen. Oh, another thing to do is you got to check your scientists because if anybody has, right, minus 5% on all research, just get rid of them. Uh, lazy's not so bad. This guy's great. See this all research and it's going to go up every every so often. Abandoned ship found. It's in good working order. Oh, okay. The cruiser's done. Wow. Okay. Well, we may take these pirates on. Let's take a look. All right. Sorry, I got distracted here, so... Well, I'll go this way. There it is. My only ship. All right. Kind of bland looking, but all right. Let's see what weapons he has. He's got PD, ion cannon, got atomic devastator, which I'm not allowed to have normally, and one large concussion missile. That's pretty powerful. Heavy railgun, large, very, and oh, and the medium star flight. This is good. This is a great ship. All right. So I don't have to put him in a fleet because he's my only ship, but I'm It'll eventually be in a fleet, so I'm going to make a fleet, create a new fleet with this ship, and just call it Fleet 1. And then I'm going to go back to my home for now, and I'll have him, so let me grab Fleet 1. I'm going to make this his home base. Oh, it already is, okay. Yep, it already is. And I'm going to say, uh, oh, he's fully fueled. That's interesting, because usually when you get these ships... They aren't fueled, and you have to fuel them. So I'm just going to tell them to guard here, uh, and I may chase those pirates if I think of it, 
but it's going to take a while to get there anyway, so I'll just do that. And while I'm paused, I'll just take a look to see if there's anything else I need to grab here. Nope. Okay. And I'm almost done with Exploration Scanner, so I'm going to probably for... Well, no. I'll wait till both of these are done, and then I'll force all of my Exploration Ships to upgrade. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay. Now, I'm going back to the Independent Colony, and I'm not going to mess it up this time. Okay, they're down to 2%. That's okay. Let's see when I can talk to them again. Uh, 12 December. Okay, very soon. 12.07. Okay, that was great. That got rushed. New Admiral. I don't care right now. Although, I might put him on Fleet 1. So, yeah, let's talk about characters for a second. So, the first thing I do is I don't like espionage. I think it's too easy so what I do in my settings here, and you can read about this in my guide, is my policy settings, I go way down here in intelligence missions and I put them 100% on counterintelligence. I leave it fully auto. This doesn't matter because you're on full counterintelligence. So I'm not going to steal anything. I ju it just gets me technology and things too quickly, I found. Now, because I don't play on it, maybe in the later versions, the recent versions, they've, they've uh, I know they were talking about changing them. They may have changed them. But again, I just, it's, I don't like that part of the game. So for me, I just leave them on auto and I leave them on counterintelligence. So I never have to deal with that. But my admirals, of course, I want to use these. So I'm going to go look at my admirals and I want to put them on manual because I hate the way they, when you build a new fleet, I've got first fleet now. If I built a third fleet, it'll jump them to there, uh, whatever. So I'm going to switch them to manual and I'll decide where he goes. I'm going to just send him to first fleet. And that's where the AI, AI would have sent him, but now he'll just stay there until I move him. And I, so I'm going to manually manage all my admirals. Generals, I kind of just let the AI do it. Anyway, that's just my play style. All right. I think it's November. Oh, yeah. It's December already. So let's go talk to that indie. There he is. And let's go there, actually. Okay, here we are. My colony ship's ready to go. Let's speak to them. Uh, I, let me slow this get down because that's what killed me before, right? Okay. So let me speak to them, send them a gift, large gift. We still have a free trade tre treaty, so now it should be 100%, I think. Let me go back to the planet. Yep, it's 100%. Now, he's so close. Oh, well, that's not him. He's so close, this shouldn't be a problem. There he is. That's my world founder. He's right there. If I just say go right now, I'm sure this plan is still at 100%. We'll have no problem. I could have done this earlier if I'd been more careful, but I was not being careful. So let's put this back to at least regular speed. Let him do his colonization stuff. It's kind of cool. I haven't actually looked at this ship. That's really cool looking. Oh, I love it. And he'll send out his pods. Okay, we're still at 100%. See, we may this may stay at 100% because it's our next, but I wasted all that 37,000 on gifts because I didn't have to if I'd just been more careful before. There they go. There goes little colonization shuttles, I guess, are dropping our people off there and supplies, even though the planet already exists and has its own culture and society. There they go. And it's going to turn in a second, right? I'll speed up a little bit. There it go. Nope. There it is. We we got our first independent world. That's excellent. And we got some tech from that. And increased our happiness on our planet. That's great. So that's going to make generate more money for us too. And now the first thing I want to do, let me pause the game here. So I want to build a station here because spaceport because that's super super important i don't care where it goes so i'm just going to do it here you don't have to tell it where to build it you can just tell it to build one and that when it's done is going to if i go to research here that's going to give me probably another 10 right so but it, it's something because i'm stuck here at 64 so hopefully that'll give me another 10 let me run it eight times so you can see that happen 
there's the spaceport being built. All right. While I'm waiting for that, yeah, this is all set. All right. And my exploration ships, no, they're all refueling and one's re retrofitting. Okay, good. But this should be done very shortly. Oh, maybe the planet's doing something else? No? Oh, it's because there's such a low population. It just takes a long time to build things. So yeah, there's only... Oh, that's not that small. Okay. Oh, I wanted to look at the quality, right? So the diameter is 6,000. That's really good. That's huge. If, I'm, if my memory serves me correct, that's pretty big. Let's see compared to our planet here, right? Oops, here. Yeah, see, we only have a diameter of 4,400, right? So that's going to limit my population eventually. And then, of course, that'll limit the amount of money made. But this is a huge planet. 6,000 is huge. Um, and you got to remember, right? Diameter, twice radius, of course, but it's related to the radius. A little bit of increase in radius means a lot of increase in surface area and volume. But, of course, we're dealing with surface area on the planet. So that's big, right? It's, it's not a linear progression here, right? It's a quadratic, right, R squared. So 6,000 is a lot. There's going to be a lot of people to be able to be on here. So this is a really, really important colony. I'm really excited that I got it. All right. I want to make sure I'm not losing too many of these construction ships. Let's see, he's hurt. Oh, he's really hurt, actually. All right. I don't know who is shooting at them. Was it pirates? Yeah. Yeah, I might start manually build. I might build some ships at this point, and I may just, these guys are making me so angry. Let me just check to see if they'll... No, they're still too angry for a uh, protection agreement. Yep. So I'm just going to be at war with these guys until I can wipe them out. At least I know where they are. There they are. So I can certainly take them out. These guys, are, I think, are our friends. So, ugh, it's just a pain in the neck. I can't wait to take them out. My, my one cruiser cannot take them out, right? My one cruiser has a strength of 800. That's not good enough. But he can certainly defend... So I may send them here and see what happens. Okay, so I've got my first indie. If I go back to my other indie, I don't think. Yeah, we've got this minus 12 forever. Uh, I don't know. We might be able to. It, it, I don't have a ton of money, actually, but. Well, I'll put it off for now. All right, so I think I'll stop this episode here. So I did get my main goal. Oh, there's another one. I even just saw it. There's a, oh, no. Yeah, is that a? No, it's the same one. Okay. So I reached my main goal of getting out there as fast as I can, exploring as much as I can. I wasn't able to get much more tech. There's no new research stations, but uh, I did get this other spaceport and get my first independent colony. It's going to generate a lot of money for me. I think it's losing money right in this second. Let's take a look. Nope. It's just starting to make money. It was losing money, but that's going to quickly grow, particularly with this planet size. It's going to eventually grow to be bigger than my home. And it's going to generate more money, more credit than my home does. And that was my big goal, right? It also is going to give me a place to jump off. So when the space port is built, I'll be able to start sending out scouts to all of here. And my construction ships can go from here and refuel here. So it's just a great thing early on to grab this really important independent colony. It's going to be a big part of my empire. Uh, let me expand out this direction. I'm going to try to get this one too. We'll see what happens. I know it seems impossible. I know the AI tells you not to. They tell you to invade. But I think uh, I may be able to get around that. We'll see what happens. But it's a great start considering that I put myself in a big hole to start with. Uh, despite a bunch of mistakes that I've made already that I pointed out to you. But I'm excited. This is good. And uh, on the next episode, we'll start expanding from here.